<laughs> um, you know, so he was just somebody recent. We've had some great, cool athletes. We've had, uh, you know, Jerry Rice has been in the past, Terry Bradshaw. He, Bradshaw came back and talked to the kitchen guys. He couldn't have been any better. Huh. Um, you know, a few years back, back in the day with politics, uh, John Boehner, mm -hmm. he, he came in when he was Speaker of the House and Secret Service pulled up to the back door and, and he they had him wander right through here and sit down here and it was a quick, he came in, beat and left, but that was a bit of a trip. I mean, he was mm -hmm. he was the Speaker of the National House right then and right. They had a Secret Service guys waiting out back the whole time. That was an interesting one for sure. Yeah. Um, but it's been fun, but it always goes back to the locals that get to come in. I mean, we get to know them by name. We get to know their kids. We see them before they have kids, and then all of a sudden their kids are working for us. Right. And so you, right. you do get to see that after being here as long as we have been. Um, you do get to appreciate just that longevity and the friendships you get to make with them. Um, you know, one guy, as I spoke to the Cowboy, uh, Cowboy Gerald, who's no longer with us. Um, we still have a pair of his old boots. Cowboy, for those that grew up around here, he was about this tall and scraggly beard and dressed from head to toe in the most outlandish cowboy get up yeah. you could find, hats, boots, um, all handmade, all authentic. Uh, and he sat right there every day until the day he passed. He was an everyday regular of ours mm -hmm. and walked around town. A lot of people knew him, but yeah, we still get people ask about old cowboy's boots out there. And, um, and he wore like a different pair of boots oh, every day. Every boots, and I think when he passed, <laughs> they found about 100 hats and 50 boots, all uh -huh. custom made, and probably more than that. Um, full blazers in the middle of summer. 